need you to come fix my cable. Are you freaking kidding me? Six hours? You have to do better than that. Fine, I'll hold, but not long. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Oh, hi. You know who I am. I'm misconduct. There is nothing worse than terrible customer service. Whether it's rudeness, unreliability, or being made to wait for service for an unspecified amount of time. Ugh. If your customers expect you to be somewhere at a certain time to pick them up, it should be a top priority of yours. You said you were gonna be here two hours ago. Sorry, I was waiting for the cable company. It was a terrible day. Well, now we're gonna be late for our spa appointment. And there's definitely no time for brunch. We still have to pick up the girls. You don't always know what your passengers have planned for the day. Showing up late could start a domino effect and put their plans into a tailspin. Unreliability is one of the main reasons why customers drop a service. So, like, are we going to have time to even make it to this appointment? They'll fit us in. No offense, but if you knew you were going to be so late, a little heads-up text would have been nice. Customer service isn't just about your external customers. It involves your internal ones, too. The people you work with. You're accountable for your peers. Uh-huh. It goes beyond the golden rule. Treat others the way they want to be treated? That's like the platinum rule. Oh, speaking of platinum, wait until you see the shoes I picked up. <gasps> oh, I want to see them. Oh, I just got a text from the spa. Our appointment got canceled. Ugh, bummer. Well, don't blame me. I'm not the professional. It's not my bag. All right, what do you ladies want to do? Remember, treat your customers right or they'll find someone who will or at least a different means of transportation. <laughs> <laughs>